In the 15th century, Hungary and Polish connection were characterized by a relatively good relation from 1433. Uh, the situation started uh, to escalate in the 1460s, mainly along the alliance that came into existence during the struggle for Bohemian throne. In the spring of 40, uh, 1471, the king of Bohemia, uh, George Podjebrady, died and the king electing the eighth of Kutna Hora proclamated Vladislaus Jagiellio as the ruler of the king of Bohemia. Matthias Corvinus, who also claimed it to the title, could not accept this. Meanwhile, a group of Hungarian prelates and lords who were, uh, were dissatisfied with Matthias called Prince Casimir Jagiellion, the younger son of the uh, king of uh, Poland, Casimir IV, to take the Hungarian throne. Prince Casimir advanced with the armies against Hungary on the 2nd of October 1471. There were very few people joined him. Casimir stayed for a while on Hungarian soil, then returned home at the end of 1471. In the second half of 1473, there were several Polish instructions into Hungary and even some castle fell in their hands. As neither parties were able to overcome the other with arms, Matthias sent envoys in the order to treat for peace in response to the call from King of Poland Casimir IV. On the 21st of February 1474, the trustees of the two kings issued peace documents in Spish County in Ofalu, today is uh, Spish Staravesh. Uh, the three documents were to uh, sort out the conflicts between Matthias and Casimir and Matthias and Vladislaus. The treaty was strengthened by the Hungarian king on the 27th of February and by the king of Poland the tw uh, 28th of February in their own separate charters. The Hungarian lords codified the arrangement at the 24th of April in Buda. In my presentation I'm going to examine uh, the charters of this peacemaking process who participated in the negations from the Hungarian police side and uh, uh, brought for the peacemaking process, that is, so who sealed the Treaty of Ofalu. The Hungarian related charters uh, kept in Russia. Uh, my attention was brought to uh, the issue by the publication of the Hungar original Hungarian related charters kept in uh, Warsaw. Uh, in uh, 2014, uh, I had the opportunity to examine in person the related charters in Archivum Glovni Act Davnich v. Varsavie. I hope I pronounced it uh, well. Uh, building, primarily, uh, building primarily on the previous research, researches of the of and by the expert I have from Peter Todt, I have identified 98 charters texts that uh, were to be published in 2017. We uh, started publishing. In the first round, we published the charters of the uh, uh, Anjou period. In the second round, the reign of Sigismund. And in the third round, uh, the Hunyadi period. And uh, now I would like to uh, grab the uh, chance to say thanks to one uh, 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 member of this room, this section, Sobieslav uh, Shipkowski uh, from the University of Dansk, who uh, take two part in this project, in the third project, and uh, uh, help a lot with the charters uh, and uh, uh, give us a paper to publish in the uh, third uh, 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 part of the project. Uh, or seals evidence if most charters provide information on the names of the participants of, or those who conferred the charters. Many of these have been known uh, to historians for centuries. However, there are some charters whose issue, issuers can only be um, identified through examining the seals. This task is fairly easy with regard the, to the peace treaty of Ofalu, the names of the participants and the auto, uh, authenticators are included in the text of the charter, thus we only have to identify the seals. Uh, briefly, uh, the charters of the peace treaty, the negations of uh, Ofalu were concluded in the three charters, uh, the original of which I had survived. Only uh, those copies of the documents are known with which were issued by the Hungarian party and have been preserved in Polish archives. The charters issued by the Polish envoys had not survived in the archive of Hungarian kings. 
All three are well known in Hungarian and Polish historiography, but the first charter's copy is not included in the diplomatic photo collection of uh, National Archives of Hungary. Uh, the publisher of the texts uh, uh, of the charters was Masia Dogia, who was followed by um, uh, Carlos Wagner and uh, Stefanos Katona and uh, Anato Levitsky. The intact seals of uh, six Hungarian envoys are appeared to each uh, charter. Um, the Charter A, just briefly, and the first uh, testified uh, Matthias and Kazimir included, uh, concluded a perpetual peace treaty via their agents uh, the 21st of February 1574. The, mean, the means by which future conflicts between the two rulers and the inhabitants of the two kingdoms are to be settled are described in the ch uh, Charter in detail. Um, charter B. Uh, on the same day, the negation parties established measures uh, to maintain peace and mutual friendship on behalf of their kings. It uh, was stated that uh, a two-year case fire would be concluded with the voivod of Moldavia and the arrangements on, their, uh, on 13 cities of Spish, pledged by uh, Zigiz King Sigismund of Luxembourg to Poland, would be maintained. The Charter C, the third, third charter, uh, was meant to settle uh, the conflicts between Matthias, King of Hungary, and Vladislaus, the firstborn uh, son of uh, King of uh, Poland, Kazimir. By their agents, they concluded a three-year case fire arrangement, uh, the means by which uh, they would deal with the uh, uh, violators of the case fire agreement were regulated in detail. And the two sides of uh, the negation table, the Hungarian envoys. In his charter, issued in Eperes, today's Preshov, uh, on the 10th of uh, February 1474, Matthias Kovinus authorized Gabriel Rangon, Bishop of Transylvania, Oswald Tuz Svetoladoslavsky, Bishop of Zagreb, uh, Emerick Sapoyai Ispan of Spish, John Pongratz Dengelegi, Dengelegi, former voivod of Transylvania and royal chief. Uh, constable, uh, George Hando, Provost of Page, and uh, George Gaspar uh, Berendi Bach, Provost of Spish, to negotiate with the Polish envoys in, the, in his name. It is worth examining who were entrusted by the Hungarian ruler uh, with the task. Just uh, briefly. Uh, the diplomatic wing uh, of the uh, delegation was certainly represented by the two bishops and the uh, uh, two provosts. Gabriel Rangon was born presumably near Brescia uh, around 1410. He joined the order of uh, uh, Freyes Minor in the 1430s, after which he was ordinated and acquired, acquired, acquired a doctorate in theology. He participated in Crusader movements of 1456 and the disciple of John of Capistrano. Following the siege of Belgrade, he was active, active in Bohemia, acting against the uh, high cities. He was uh, repeatedly elected uh, uh, Franciscan provincial governor of the kingdom. Since uh, George of Ogerradi did not assist him uh, in his religious activities, uh, Rangon was placed to support Matthias in, in the struggle for the Bohemian throne. In 1470, he went to Rome already as envoy of Matthias, he became Bishop of Transylvania in 1472, Chancellor in 1474, Secret, Secret Chancellor in 1475, and from 1476 he was a chief and also Secret uh, Chancellor until 1480 as the, the Bishop of Eger. Matthias, in order uh, to recognize the service of Ragnon and uh, gain greater influence in the papal court, strove to uh, appoint him as a cardinal, which he was able to achieve in 1477. He died in Rome on uh, 27th of September 1486. Uh, Oswald II Svetoladoslavsky, born in 1438, was of a lower noble family from Zala County, and he chose uh, ecclesiastic profession at the early age. Um, uh, undoubtedly, he owned thanks for the, his uh, bishopric to uh, interventions of uh, John Tuz. Uh, 
Uh, this his relative uh, who was uh, also a lesser noble but uh, rose the barony rank when serving the Hunyadis and held several high dignities uh, under the reign of Matthias. Oswald Svetoladovsky was a clergyman at the Vespian Diocese. He, diocese, he was uh, appointed by Pope Paul II in 1466 uh, Bishop of Zagreb. At the same time, the Pope uh, appointed him governor of the Benedict Abbey of uh, Pechvarod, which office he held until 1488. George Hando uh, came from the market town Kamanchehi in Shomoy country from a welfare tenant of or uh, market townspeople uh, family. He enrolled the university in Vienna in 1445 and then studied in Florence and Ferrara, where he acquired a doctorate in Canolo as well as in arts. He made it in, in, in to the court of uh, Matthias by the help of Dina Sechi, uh, Archbishop, Archbishop of uh, Ex Estergom. From 1465, he filled the vacant seat of the great provost of Page. The king assigned him various diplomatic tasks, primarily he sent him uh, to Rome as an envoy or, uh, uh, or uh, uh, more of that. For example, he had a great part of the king engagement with king Be uh, Queen Beatrice of Aragon um, and uh, he held his prophecy until his death. Uh, in 1480, and uh, the main time he was uh, also chancellor between 1466 and 1467, treasurer between 1476 uh, and 1478, and bishop, archbishop of Kalacha, batch between 1478 and 1480, as well as chief as secret chancellor, of course, after the uh, peace of Oklahoma. Gaspar Berendi Bock was uh, born sometime in the early 1440s, so could, be, uh, could have been the same age as Matthias Corvinus. His father, John Bock, was a familiar of uh, Governor John Hunyadi, thus it is not impossible that the later king and provost knew each other since their childhood. In the 1456 his name is found amongst the students of the Faculty of Arts of the University of Vienna. We can pressure uh, that they participated in the fights against the Hussites in Upper Hungary, during which time he developed good relations with Emmerich and Stefan Safoy. Owning thanks to this re relation, in the early 1460s he became the head of the canonical committee of St. Martin's Collegiate Church in Sepeshei, today, today Spiska Capitula, which was under the Safoyais' grace and served as their burial place. From this position, he was appointed as provost of Spish following the coronation of Matthias in 1464. In the second half of the 1460s, he studied canon law in Ferrara and Bologna. Among others, in Bologna he studied together with Tomasz Bakuc, later Archbishop of Estergom, and Peter Vardi, later Archbishop of Kalocha, and he also was also consecrated as a sub subdeacon here. He gained his doctorate degree in 1472 then went on a primulage to Rome where he served in the papal court. He probably returned home shortly before the peace of Ofalu. Until his death is 1493, he was engaged in the improvement of papastry. The secular leaders of the delegation were certainly responsible for the military defense of the royal entourage and also re uh, represented the ruler's own intent. The Sapoye family originated from Pozsega County, today in Croatia. Emeric Sapoye started his career in the service of John Hunyadi. For a while he presumably undertook secretarial task bes beside the governor. From this he became a treasurer at the turn of the 1458-1459, which was a baronial title. During the rule of Matthias, he participated in subjecting the Hussites in the upper religion of uh, Hungary, as a result of which he re received several northeastern estates. He took part in the siege of Jajca, after which Matthias placed the, the fate of the southern regions in his hand and made him governor of the prior of Varna, Vrana, and uh, parallelly with uh, this he was also the ban of Slavonia and the Dalma Dalmatia Croatia and governor of Bosnia. Together with his brother Stefan, they received from Matthias the title of the Perpetual Ispan of Spish, entitled a Perpetuus Comes, 
After this, he was involved in Matthias' numerous military activities. John Pongratz Dengerengi was one of the army leader barons of Matthias. His father, George Pongratz, was the vice voivod of Transylvania, and his mother, Claire, was the sister of John Hunyadi, that is close relative of King Matthias. Supposedly he was born at the end of the 1430s and he served governor John Hunyadi and his son Ladislaus already at the end of 1450s. He quickly received his baronial rank from Matthias as he was uh, the master of the Stuarts between 1460 and 1461. Following this he became a voivod of Transylvania, which office he had between 1462 and 1465. Later the king appointed him to uh, this office two more times. He participated in, uh, in the access unsuccessful uh, Moldavian campaign with Matthias in 1467. He died in 1466. From the documents we can also find out who represented King Casimir of Poland and Prince Vladislaus in the negotiation. The leaders of their delegation were Jakub Sienyski, Archbishop of Gniezno, Jan Rzeszowski, Bishop of Krakow, Dobieslav Kmitazje Wisznica, Kastelan of Lublin, and Jan Ritwanski, Marshal of the King Kingdom of Poland. The charters they issued did not survive, but an overview of their careers is briefly discussed below. Jakub Sienski was born at the beginning of the 14th in Sienno, situated in the Mazovian Voivodenship as the son of Dobieslav Oleśnicki, then Kastelan of Wojnica, and the later voivod of Sandomierz. His uncle was the first Polish cardinal, Zbigniew Oleśnicki. He studied the theology in Rome and become, became a canon of Krakow in 1455. He was the secretary of Vladislav Warnecki and King Casimir IV and participated in diplomatic missions in Hungary in 1442 and in Rome in 1440, 1448. In the 1455 he was appointed Bishop of Krakow, but the Pope did not approve it. He represented King Casimir in Mantua in 1459 in order to treat the, for a league against the Ottomans. In 1464 he became the Bishop of Wroclawek in the north, from which point to, he took part actively in the negotiation with the Teutonic Order, which was meant to conclude the Thirteen Years' War in Torun, in 1466. In 1473 he was appointed Archbishop of Gniezno, a position he held up until his death in 1480. Jan Rezhovski was born a member of the Polkozic Genuts at the beginning of the 1410s. He enrolled to the University of Krakow in 1428, then served Vladislav Varenitsky. He accompanied the king in Hungary in 1440, and uh, master of the as uh, master of the Kabirs, the participated at the Battle of Varna, where he was uh, taken captive. Being freed, he returned to Poland, where, following the death of his uh, suppose, he became a clergyman. Around 1453, he was ordinated as a priest and became a canon of Krakow in uh, 1455. He served in the royal court, and King Casimir named him treasurer. In 1471, he was responsible for the finances for the Bohemian campaign of Vladislaus and the Hungarian campaign of King Casimir. In 1472, he was appointed Bishop of Krakow and actively took part in Polish politics until his death in 1488. Dobieslav Kmita belonged to the Polish secular elite through his uh, grandfather on his mother's side, Mikolaj Mikolava Kurozhvek, Voivod of Sandomierz. He was Castellan of Biec from 1458 and later became the uh, Wojnicka, then of uh, Lublin from uh, 1464. In this position, he signed the second piece of Torun. He was the first Voivod of the newly organized Voivodenship of Lublin from 1474. In 1478, he was appointed a vo uh, Voivod of Sandomierz, but a year later, he died childless. Jan Ritvanski primarily owned thanks for his uh, political career to his brother Zerslav, who was uh, one of the most influential Polish secular lords of the period, thus he was able to put uh, his younger brother in high, high position. 
In 1462, he was appointed Marshal of the Kingdom of Poland. In 1474, he became the Castellan of Sandomierz when the Voivod of Krakow from 1477 to his unexpected and early death in 1478. He took part in several foreign missions, mainly on the side of his brother, thus he also signed the second piece of Turin. It is clear that uh, both rulers sent those prelates and the lords to the negotiation who had the most diplomatic experience from the Hungarian side, Gabriel, Bishop of Transylvania, uh, and the young Bishop of Krakow from the Polish party are to be um, particularly highlighted as they were actively involved also as commissioners, diplomats throughout the conflicts between the Hunyadis and the Jagalos already from the end of the 4060s. The tension between the parties was certainly uh, palpable during the negotiation for Jan Bishop of Krakow established financial foundations for the Polish instruction into Hungary in 1471, while Emeric Sapoyai was responsible for organizing the defense. And among the unknown members of their entourage, there may be, have, be, have been many who faced each other at the battlefields as well. Besides, the leaders could have known each other well since Jakub Archbishop of Gniezno participated in the Hungarian adventure of uh, Vladislaus Varnetsky, and uh, many of the envoys had the opportunity, opportunity to get to know each other during their studies in Italy or their stays in Rome. The pendant seals that were placed in natural colored seal nests survived intact on all three charters, of which four four were pressed into red and the two into green wax. On all three charters the seals follow and one other from left to right in strict hierarchical order according to the addressing. First comes from the red wax seal, seals of the Bishop of uh, Transylvania, then that of uh, the Bishop of Zagreb, which are followed by the seal of Sapoye, who as a count held, held the privilege to use the red wax. After the count of Spish, Dengelegi, Dengelegi, the former warlord, placed his seal, who, despite not being in office, certainly had a prestigious place among, among the secular lords. The row ends with the red wax seal of the provost of Pay chapter, George, George Hando, and the, the one belong to Gaspar Berendibok, provost of Spish, collegiate chapter. Here to the hierarchy of the Hungarian ecclesiastical, ecclesiastical organi organization is visible, in which the order of the bishops regarding wealth and the prestige could be said to be sold. The bishop of Transylvania came before the one of Zagreb. The secular lords came after them, of them Sapoye was listed ahead Dengelegi, due not only to his prestige and wealth, but also his commercial title, uh, despite the fact that Dengelegi was a close relative of Matthias. Similar to other polysegilic diplomats, the provost followed the barons, and from the two chapter leaders, George Hando was the more influential one. The octagonal ring seal of Gabriel Rangoni, Bishop of Transylvania, is less known in the literature. The, the diplomatic collection of the National Archives of Hungary holds a charter on which his seal survived in visible form under a wafer. Inside the bedded rim, in the field of the seal, an angel uh, turning slightly to the right can be seen. Unfortunately, due its burial blurred quality, it is not clear what the angel holds it in its hands. Since the coat of arms of Archbishop is not placed on the seal, it can be presumed that the patron saints of the Transylvanian bishopric, Archangel Saint Michael, was into the seal's matrix. In the case, the symbols of fire breathing dragon, a scale and sword may appear as attributes. In my, my hypothesis, there is a gothic letter G and the letter A at the bottom of the two sides of the angel, which may be abbreviation of Gabriel. 
we have an e uh, easier task when describing the next seal as its analogy is well known from the exhibition of the National Archive organized in the 1990s, which uh, presented seals from the Matthias period. Following the description of Zuzanna Bandi, there is an discussion in the center of the octagonal field in which there is a mullet between a saint sinister of two and uh, a bishop mitre above the escutcheon. The segmented majuscules circumscription on the two sides reads Osvadi Graviensis. According to, to literature, Emeric Sapoye used the same pri private seal from 1461 as treasurer, ban uh, governor of Bosnia, and perpetual Ispan of Spish until 1478, naturally pressed into red wax as uh, 1465. In the center of the seal field there is wolf rampant in an escutcheon fencing sinister with a crescent to its sinister and the mullet it is the dexter and the escutcheon is held by an angel with its wings spread. The minuscule circumscription on the two sides of the coat of arms reads Z S Eric Zapoya with abbreviation marks above the letters E, R and O. The next seal that is app appended to the charter is the largest in diameter, ap approximately 29 mm. The owner of the sigillum pressed into green wax is the former voivode of Transylvania, John Pongratz Vengerengi, who, who seems not to have changed his seal after appointed into a baronial office, since the impression corresponds with the one placed under the text of charter issued is in 1470. Zsuzsanna Bandi described the seal on the basis of this. A spoked wheel can be seen in the field of the seal in the coat of arms, knight's helmet rests on the shield and the mantling fills in the space with a glowing light around. According to Vilmos Fraknoi, the minuscule circumscription that is bordered, bordered by a continuous line reads Sigillum Johannes Pongratz de Deleng Voivod. The seal impression of George Hando, provost of Page, authorized the charter lastly with the octagonal seal without circumscription, pressed it into red wax. There is a square Spanish escutcheon within the rim that resembles the twisted cord with a lily emerging out of the crown. The lily appears, appears again above the shield. The seal of Gaspar Bach, provost of Spish, following a similar pattern, pattern with a slight difference, namely that it was pressed into green wax and instead of the lily in the figure of a bird emerge, emerges from the crown, perhaps an eagle or a raven. And summarize um, above, it is clear visible from the above that uh, both Matthias Hunyadi and the Jagellons took the case fire and peace negotiations very seriously and they sent the creme de la creme of uh, their loyal barons to Ofalu. They were tired and experienced diplomats who, due to their ranks and entourage, were able to give prominence to the negotiations. Many were able to put aside their differences and the harms they caused each other in the other in order to give way to the will of their rulers to make peace again between the two great powers of Central Europe. Although the Polish copies of the diplomats have not survived, the diplomats issued for the um, Polish party still retained six imprints in the excellent condition, several of which are less known. The diploma issued in April 1474, which conferred the peace of Ofalo, testifies the seals of at least 25 Hungarian prelates, aristocrats and nobles, the description of which I shall give in a separate paper. Thank you for your attention.